Hi there, my name is Danielle Doris and I'm the Executive Director for the Science and Engineering Fair of Northern Kentucky. Today I'm going to show you how to upload your logbook to STEM Wizard. That way all of our judges can see your logbook before they talk to you during our virtual fair on February 27th. This is new this year because the um, judges usually walk through the ballroom and look at your logbooks and things the day of. Now they're going to have access to this prior to um, meeting with you on our fair day. And that way they can kind of get a better idea of your project and everything. So you can either have a Word document logbook or you can just take pictures of your paper logbook. So that's something you wanna think about now as you're starting your project and um, thinking about how you're going to present virtually. Think about how you wanna um, upload your logbook, whether that's Word, like I said, or paper, um, which would just be a picture of that. So the first thing we wanna do is log into our STEM Wizard account. You wanna to go to uh, scfnk.stemwizard.com. Up in the top right hand corner, you'll see login. And that's where you're gonna log in for the student. So once you get there, that's where we are now. Put your username and your password in. If you've forgotten that, that's okay. You can use this forgot username or password. If you remember it, go ahead and log in. And it takes you right to your uh, project. Okay, so this is my test one, obviously. I've already entered the project information in my research plan because that's the only way I'll get to files and forms. So you'll have to do this before you see what you're about to see on mine. So as you click into files and forms, the first thing you'll see is a nine question sort of quiz that will ask you all about your project. That's just to gain information on what kind of ISEF forms you'll need to be filled out. So I've already done that, which is why you don't see the quiz. So once you finish that quiz, it'll take you to this exact page. So as you can see, we've got something new here. This is our project notes and or logbook. So this is, um, like I said, new this year, as well as our project presentation info right here. So project presentation, we're going to ask that you have a PowerPoint or a PDF that you upload to STEM Wizard. And this will need, all of this will need to be uploaded two weeks prior to our event. So that will be Friday, Fe February 12th, I believe, um, is when we will ask to have all of these in. That way we can go through and check and make sure everything's correct. And then it'll give our judges time to, to look through everything. So as you can see, um, these have our ISEF forms on here. And you might have a somewhat different ISEF forms based on what your project is. And then everyone will have the science SEFNK permission form. So just like prior years, you're going to download your required files. And when you do that, the, all the ISEF forms and the permission form will all be populated in a folder for you on your desktop. So just go ahead and do that again this year like you normally do. And then when we are talking about our project notes, I actually did this when I was going through this as a practice run, so let me delete this. So you won't see that, you will see this. Um, and so as we upload our project notes, all you have to do is go up here and click upload your files. And then like I said, we're just gonna do project notes right now. Um, we will have another video coming about um, how to convert your PDF into a, or I'm sorry, your PowerPoint into a PDF if that is something you'd like to do. Um, so stay tuned for that. So back to this, we're going to upload our project notes and or logbook. I'm gonna choose my file. Now I, I saved mine under my pictures. So make sure you know where um, your file is saved and then you're going to upload it. Simple as that. So mine is just a JPEG. I just took a picture of an old log book that we had. Um, you can either do JPEGs or Word document. And there we go, voila. We have our project notes submitted now. So as you can see, submitted, what the file name, you can actually re-download this um, after you upload it. And then upload date and time. And then this is supposed to be where my name is, but obviously I put tests. So there you go, that's all you have to do. It's nice and simple. I'm sure many of you know how to do this already, but if you do not, um, I hope this helps you in your journey as we prepare for our virtual science fair. Thank you and we'll talk to you soon.